Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, I'm Claude. I'm an alcoholic and I'm sober today. And the question is, how did we become willing to take step three? Well, one of the things I learned when I started coming to meetings was that from the the people who'd already been there before me, we learnt that our way is generally not the right way. <laughs> our way led us to where we are. Our way led to a, a life of disaster, chaos, madness, and um, my life was a classic example of that. So it was fairly obvious that if I kept doing things my way, I was going to keep failing and I'd had a 49-year history of my way failing virtually every time. So what was this new way and um, and what would it involve? And I think like many people, I was very hesitant. Um, you know, how do I turn to something that I can't see, can't feel it, can't touch it? But um, look, the way things were explained to me at the time, you know, a few things simply made sense. Um, you know, like when, um, you know, for example, when I was a kid and I'd get model aeroplanes and I'd start gluing these things together before I looked at the instructions and wonder why I'd get to a point where I couldn't go any further and the whole thing couldn't work. Then finally I'd look at the instructions, I would turn to the instructions <laughs> and um, soon find out that my way was the wrong way and um, it didn't work and it led to a disaster because it couldn't be salvaged. So I eventually learnt after doing this several times that whenever I would pull my model aeroplane out of the packet, forget the plastic bits, pick up the paper, read it and I would see that there was an order of doing things that would simply make this work. So, yeah, and I accepted that. And there's lots of other things. I, I became um, an electrician. Well, didn't I have to turn to the schooling and to the advice and guidance of those that were there before me to become a qualified tradesman and actually know what I was doing without destroying everything that I touched? I accepted that, not a problem. But for some reason, I walked in this program and I was very hesitant very hesitant but one day I just simply made the connection that um, the literature basically there's your instructions there are my instructions and we have the meetings so there's um, our sessions where we learn from other people we listen and we learn and um, you know, I decided to listen to my sponsor and um, yeah between the meetings, the literature, the guidance of other people, sponsor, I realised that there was a better way to do things and that my way wasn't the right way. I remember what my sponsor said to me, you know, you've been going, if you keep going in the line that you've been on, you know, it was a disaster. It's going to continue to be a disaster. So look left or look right and just go over there and just try something new. That's all he really said to me, just try something new and you'd be surprised at what you end up with. So I decided to do that. Um, I decided to turn to the people that knew better than me. I decided to turn to the people um, that had good recovery already, whose recovery I, I looked at with admiration, people that I considered role models. And I decided to do what they did. And uh, I'd have to say that that worked. So, um, yeah, look, with good guidance and, um, you know, a good program, um, you know, meetings and just the whole of the AA, the AA fellowship, um, I, um, dropped my guard and decided to take step three and things are a hell of a lot better. Thank you. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.